Amber, there are nine people now facing a variety of criminal charges. Some of them aren't even students, but for those who were, the university said it's not complicated at all. They knew the rules, they said, and they broke them, and now they must face the consequences. These are the faces of the people now facing misdemeanor and felony criminal charges in Alachua County. They range in age from 20 to 26, and that their charges range from failing to obey lawful commands and resisting without violence to trespassing after warning. One man even spit on police. In Florida, uh, you can you can say things, uh, you can have positions, that's fine, uh, but when you're not going to let you set up a tent city in the middle of a university, that is not going to happen here. Governor Ron DeSantis reacted to the UF arrest during a press conference this week where he said more and more of these pro-Hamas protests across the country are becoming increasingly violent and pointed out that Jewish students and professors are now being targeted with hate. That is toxic. That is an environment that if you're a Jewish student, you are not safe in that environment. They are blocking Jewish students from being able to go to class. They are harassing Jewish professors. They are doing things that are far beyond them just expressing their opinions. And I think that as much as I disagree with their opinions, you know, you know, they, they have a right to do that, but you don't have a right to commandeer the university. The University of Florida warned its students late last week about protest activities that were and were not allowed. Here's the list. This week, they put out this statement following the arrest saying, quote, this is not complicated. The University of Florida is not a daycare and we do not treat protesters like children. They knew the rules, they broke the rules and they'll face the consequences. For many days, we have patiently told protesters, many of whom our outside agitators, that they were able to exercise their right to free speech and free assembly. And we also told them that clearly prohibited activities would result in a trespassing order from UPD, barring them from all the university properties for three years and an interim suspension from the university. The university also said in their statement that university police patiently and consistently reiterated the rules they were given several warnings and ample opportunities to comply as the arrests we showed you came after they refused. Reporting for Florida's Voice, Anita Padilla. Back to you, Amber.